Hello everyone, welcome back with our SPS video. Today we're back on Lunar SPS, the biggest custom server there today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be recording a brand new video in here. Very exciting to the server. It's been having over 500 plays online every single day. If you guys never checked it out, you definitely want to do so. Super fun. It's been on for a very long time. Very consistent update. Amazing stuff, team. Check it out with the link down below. When you guys look for the first time, you should type Colin Gormley Fire into the chat and then with the code Walkers, you guys will be getting a very nice starter pack. So make sure you claim that one giveaway for today's video. It's going to be a gold card package. One lucky winner. All you have to do for that one is like the video, comment, check your name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. I would say let's get right into the video. As you can probably read from the title, the most content packed custom roads get private server. That question mark. This is gonna be it today. We're gonna be checking out all the unique features the server has to offer because there's a shit ton right here. I remember the day one when the server released and what it's now, it's actually crazy. The uniqueness of the custom content they've added is crazy. It's freaking mind blowing, and I'm very excited to be showcasing that today. And I would say we're gonna be starting right from the early stage when you guys gonna be joining Luna, which obviously is star design. It's a very nice island themed. A little mini game, you do a couple of KC requirements and you're done. After that, when you want to start focusing on Colin Colum Starter, very nice interface right Hey, Go ahead and do a big variety of different tasks. They're not too bad to be completed. And after that one, you guys are good to go to get into the mid game right here. It's going to take you a minute to complete this one, but essentially you're going to do some Slayer as well. Get the Starters completed, get some Slayer going 99, and then you want to talk to our friend here to start your first custom quest right here. It's not a long one, it's very good fun. Go ahead and complete it to get your first beautiful costume, which is this slot right here. Absolute amazing. Also, shout out to all the boys right here. I freaking love this community. Absolute top notch. While completing the beautiful starter task, you're gonna go into a couple of content pieces, which are pretty fucking OP early on, which we're gonna talk about really quick right here. First things first, that's the first rate right here for the beautiful raid boxes, which are going to give you the execution weapons as well as the gear, which is the first mid-tier set you guys want to be achieving after the beautiful starter set together with the Lucifer one. Then we also have pass control that you guys have to go and complete. And the interesting part is the weapons are fairly strong, as you can see from the stats right here. So this is definitely one of the early mini games you guys want to be grinding. It's fully customized as well. So I go ahead and grind the island raid, go ahead and do the starter task, go ahead and grind for Lucifer gear as well as pass control is the first mid-tier thing you want to go for. And we have the next very important thing, the different ways to grind Lunite. So the main content pieces early on is definitely start grinding out the different zones right here. Do the Slayer, there's a bunch of different Slayer masks right here, all the way to the Master Boss Slayers, which are absolutely nice, which are going to give you the Master Slayer chest, as well as combined with a beautiful Global Boss right here, there's Spory Wood. And as you can see right here, there's a shit ton of different Global Boss that you guys want to go ahead and kill. There's also the brand new Cerberus Wood, which is absolutely freaking nuts, and I'm probably going to post it on the thumbnail because of that, I freaking love it. And yeah, that is also coming with a brand new Cerberus set, which is freaking OP. Next to that, when you guys are going to get your gay up, you want to start grinding the boss requirements as well. So each boss got the requirement of the previous one right here. It's very interesting concept. It all makes absolute freaking sense all the way towards the end game boss, which we're going to have a look to in a bit. Also very important is their beautiful upgrade interface right here. You got different tiers all the way to level 120. In here, you guys will be able to get yourself some crazy freaking upgrades. This is literally from the worst one in this app all the way to freaking best in slot right here. So... Everything makes sense, and that's definitely one of the most important things why I love Luna so much because everything they release is in place. Nothing too crazy, nothing does make sense. They have everything planned out very properly, and I love to see that. Okay, let's start from the top right here, really quick. So that's the execution set we were talking about before, the execution weapons as well. Then you guys will be able to upgrade those execution weapons into different versions. So we've got the light version, the dark one, and the blood one right here. Absolute freaking amazing right there. And then you guys will be able to upgrade the execution pieces into the Lucifer piece right here by getting Lucifer attachments. They're all combined with attachments, as you can see right here. It's a very nice grind. First, you get the normal one, then you go for the light, then dark, and then blood one. The same is also uh, can be found right here from the bosses, okay? So the first boss you're going to be grinded right here is going to be the beautiful Lucifer one to get the Lucifer attachments for the Lucifer gear. Then you got the Dark Spring for the first weapon upgrade with a Dark Attachment right there. Then we have the Blood Odin with the Blood Shard as well as the Blood Attachment. Obviously, we're going towards the end game content piece later on right here. As you guys go towards the loose Lucifer gear together with the beautiful Blood Weapons, you can start grinding some other OP custom mini games. First things first, most popular one definitely is Sacred Death right here, especially when there's a two times rates packs going on. 
everybody rushes SOD right here. Crazy money maker, you guys do not want to be missing out on that one. The packs are also a very nice system they have on Lunite. So definitely make sure we are grinding this one right here. That is the next upgrade right here. 7.5k in stats after the Lucifer one. Super freaking nice. Three different stats, three different styles right there. Super freaking amazing. After SOD right here, you guys want to be going as well and grind some Assassin Guild as well. After you complete all the different zones, you're going to go into this lovely mini game right here with three beautiful rewards right here. Go ahead and complete this mini game. Super freaking nice. And you guys will be getting the gems on Kasaki. In my opinion, one of the most underestimated items in game. This is one of the requirements to get yourself the first Quiver right here. The Assassin Quiver, which you guys can find also in the beautiful upgrade interface right here. And you need the Kasaki that I've just showed you. These crests, which you can craft through this interface as well right here. The beautiful healing stuff right here. Materials that you're going to be grinding from another custom mini game, which is Hails of Ammo right here. Get those, upgrade them, gonna cost you a little bit of money right there. And then you guys will be able to make the beautiful Assassin Quiver. It gives you Soul Split Effect, I think it's the only item that gives Soul Split Effect in game. So you definitely wanna be grinding that one, ladies and gentlemen, because it's so freaking OP. As you can see, you guys will be able to upgrade a bunch of lovely costumes as well right here. Looks very, very OP. We've got the boots upgrades as well. And then what you guys want to start working on is definitely the owner accessories right here. So you can go ahead and free to play get yourself the owner cape by grinding yourself a Lucifer uh, cape. Then you go get yourself the ju uh, owner jewelry goodie bags. And those ones going to give you the owner jewelry right here to go ahead and upgrade those bad boys into the U version with owner attachments. Which you guys can either buy from the in-game donator store or you can also grind it in game from the beautiful minigame treasure hunter right here. Nice drop rate pants as well as the own attachment. So everything makes really nice sense. After that, well, you guys want to start grinding the celestial zone to get yourself the celestial item. So in other words, you're going to go out and grind the celestial energy right here. Every single content page right there can be upgraded with celestial energy. It's an endless freaking grind. It is absolute freaking notes. And you can also go for the celestial gear. We're just going to require the SOD items, the rates we've just showcased before, upgraded into those pieces right here, together with Celestial Attachment and Energy right here into Celestial Gear, which is going to be a big fucking upgrade for your account. So you definitely want to go ahead and grind for that one right here. Also, those scrolls, super freaking OP. You guys want to go ahead and grind those. Also, Angelic Potion right here, very freaking OP, requires Angelic Dust, very hard to be obtaining, same as the Divine Charge right here. But again, those items are very very op and then you're gonna go already into the next bossing content pieces which is super freaking nice as well so we go back to the bosses right here after you get the blood weapons everything you guys gonna go for celestial gear and then you're gonna go towards end game content pieces so we've got draken right here for the vampiric shot Ziliana for the Ziliana crystal then we have Isles of the Gods, which is very important because you guys will be able to upgrade your lovely blood weapons into the infernal weapons as well as the beautiful Isenic ones right here. And that is where the next big upgrade will be happening. Again, through the beautiful upgrade interface right here. So get the Isenic, get the infernal, as we've just mentioned right here, through the beautiful orbs you're going to be farming from Isles of the Gods. You're going to forge that into a dormant stuff right here, ladies and gentlemen. And then you're going to start farming Leviathan, which is another boss. To get yourself part 1, 2, and 3, to get yourself the Lavian Sigil. With the Sigil right here, you're going to get your Lavian stuff right here. 75k stats, absolutely freaking OP. Same for the bow, same for the beautiful sword right here. Then we're going into the very end game condo pieces right here. Ladies and gentlemen, Wisdom pieces, Destiny pieces, and the Vengeance one. So that one is the latest rate right here, which you guys are going to be finding under the mini games under the beautiful Chambers of Anima. Absolutely freaking crazy. You can upgrade those again. So these are the basic pieces, 15k in stats, absolute freaking OP. And then you guys will be able to go ahead and grind those lovely pieces right here. Required also anime attachments that you guys will be able to forge from the assets that you're going to get from raid, plus those, plus cash right there. And then you guys are going to start grinding those. Absolute freaking amazing. These shards that we've seen before, sorry, Tacted shard, the Scotizo shard, and the beautiful Magister shard. Upgrade it with your Celestial items into Bastion slot ones, which is the Scotiza Ring, Tactan Amulet, and the Magister Gloss right here. All of them are best in slot. Then we have a bunch of Seasonal items as well. Crowns of the Kings, the three coronets together for the best in slot helm in game. Crown of the Kings, Absolute Nuts, and the Clock of the Kings right here. Old side, best in slot cape in game, Absolute freaking OP. And then you also got yourself a beautiful upgrade from the weapons into the Fellfire ones, which the 11th one and also all the other shots again 
for best in slot weapons right here. And then we have best in slot gear as well, which requires the Zelkano attachment again, which is made from the volcanic fragments right here. And then you guys will be able to upgrade all those items Zelkano, which is current best in slot. Absolute freaking insane. Also best in slot. Aura right here can be found. Also best in slot. Costume can be found right here. So it's absolute freaking OP. But that's not it. We have the custom enchantment skill as well. Super unique content piece as well right here. So those are different spells that you guys will be unlocking. And by using your beautiful charges by freaking burning pages to your account. You can punch them as well from the lovely POS. You guys will be able to use those charges right here. Very freaking OP. Then we also have the season pass, which is very P. And finally, the final content piece that was released, the Gauntlet right here. That's a mini game to get all those lovely items right here at a 1 in 500 rate. It's super freaking OP. Good luck grinding this mini game. I'm also grinding Gauntlet quite a bit because it's just very, very OP. So, as you guys can tell, this is a lot of freaking content you guys will be able to grind here. Also, make sure you're killing all the global bosses, which are super OP as well. And yeah, you'll have a lot of fun. Definitely make sure to be using the upgrades. Interface a little bit of a guide for the next upgrade right here. Make sure you ask for this to see it's super super active There will always be people who will be helping you guys out right there and um, yeah have a lot of fun Thank you so much for tuning in everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video Smash like button comment check your name down below and be subscribed to my channel. I'll be seeing you online. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good one